just Janine happy Saturday morning y'all it is a beautiful Saturday morning a little cloudy just a bit but mostly sunny so I am up early this morning I'm actually running behind I actually kind of overslept a little bit so I'm on my way to meet with my brother and my cousin on some things and then I gotta head to Hobby Lobby and run some errands and some other stuff but yeah just want to get um look at a little bit more decor yeah i just want to get a, a little bit more decor for my room and just to kind of get some more ideas for you know what i want to put on the walls because i don't know if i want to do more of the wall art as far as the kind that you just stick on the wall or if i want to do more like frame pictures and stuff like that so yeah that's what i'm trying to figure out i'm gonna get it together so i don't know about y'all but i am going to enjoy my saturday so i'll be watching my niece today she's going to be playing volleyball for the first time so i want to go see that it's going to be cute but y'all i'm so glad it is the weekend like oh my goodness and i get a three-day weekend because it is memorial day weekend so I hope y'all have a safe and happy Memorial Day, uh, just wherever you are. And I hope you eat well and enjoy, you know, your friends, family, whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got going on today. I'm gonna head over to my cousin's house and, and do what we need to do there. And then I'll be heading out to some other places um, to kind of hurry along my day. So I will see y'all in a bit. So I just made it to the rec center and I'm about to uh, watch my niece play her first game of volleyball. So it's going to be really fun. So I'm about to go inside. And then here at the volleyball tournament, watch my niece play. She's really good. about her so hopefully get to see more games coming up for her in June. Bye y'all! Alright guys so we are on our way out and I need to head to Hobby Lobby right now so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So get in here. Uh, this one lady came up to me and she just hugged me I don't know who she was, but she said, did you do good today? And I said, uh, yes, ma'am. And, uh, 
I have no clue who this lady was. And the lady come, I guess her daughter came up. She said, do you know my mom? I said, no, ma'am, I don't know your mama. <laughs> She's, she just hugged me like she knew me. She said, did you do good today? She just kept saying, did you do good today? And I was like, I don't know this lady, but I'm going to pretend like I do. And so we're going to get some items for, well, at least look at some items for, um, for my room. I got a lot going on here. Hello? Okay. So I left from watching my niece play vo volleyball. And uh, some people up here. And um, then I had to go get me something to eat because I was about to starve the death. So I just got finished scarfing down a good old turkey sandwich with slaw from Wits Barbecue and some chips some chips and some uh, lemonade. <clears throat> it was really good. So now I'm at my folks' house. And uh, she, t my mom told me we have, a, we have some family in town that's here for a family um, reunion, which I did not know. And uh, so, yeah, it'll be good to see them because I have not seen a lot of my family from the up north in like years and years and years. So... And my mama's standing in the doorway with rollers in her hair. Hey, Brandon! What Brandon do? Brandon! Come on, Brandon. That's, how long he been out? Oh, so I'm over. I just pulled up at my parents' house, and here's Brandon. Brandon? Why you look lost? Come on, Brandon. <sighs> so here. Come on, Brandon. You gotta go pee pee. I don't know who let him out. They just got him out here warning. Ain't nobody even out here watching him. Come on, Brandon. In the bathroom, my mom, she doing her hair. Say hey, mama. Hey, mama. I'm tired, y'all. I'm gonna sit down. Oh, what a day. So, I'm just sitting here in my folks' house. It looked like it's about to rain. It looks very gloomy. It was sunshine early today, but it looked like it's clouding up. But we're gonna get some rain. Um, I gotta get some spray paint. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do my DIY today because it's probably going to rain. And I'm going to need for that to sit outside and dry. So I probably won't get to do the file cabinet today. So I'll have to do that on a different day. But I'm going to show y'all some indoor stuff. Some indoor, um, some indoor DIY stuff that I got for y'all. So... I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I ate that sandwich and now I got the itis. And if you don't know what the itis is, you eat some food and immediately you get sleepy. That's what you call the itis. Old school term. <laughs> Ma! Are you about ready? Are you ready or what you doing? I'm Oh, I'm gonna show you something. My brother let me borrow his Fitbit because I'm I was I never had a Fitbit before, and I've seen them, I've heard about them, but I didn't really think it was anything that I would use. But he let me borrow his. Um, this is just the um, oh, it just automatically comes on. But this one is the just the HR. This is the um, one of the older models. And, um, and it checks your heart rate and your calories and your distance and different things like that. So, and your sleep. So this is the reason why I really want to get one to check for my sleep. And, um, cause I don't sleep well at all. I wake up in about two or three hours after laying down. I don't sleep well. I toss and turn a lot at night. So, it's going to track my sleep and check my sleep. So, that's going to be pretty cool just to see what it says. It went off. But anyway, my resting heart rate was like an 80-81. I guess that's pretty good because I'm just sitting here, I guess. Nothing like sitting out here in the country. Country living. 
Or you can sit on your own stoop or your own front porch and just enjoy the scenery. Here's the scenery. Just tall trees and grass. Ah, oh, the birds are chirping. It's just nice and peaceful out here in the country. I can never live in a city. City life is not for me. It's just peace and quiet out here. Just nature. That's all you hear is just nature. Just the birds chirping. The wind blowing, rustling through the trees. It's just the most relaxing and peaceful setting and scenery. City life, everything fast paced, everybody moving. Stress, just rush, 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 rush. Country living, just peace. Listen to the birds. Just peace. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No sir. No, my settings are wrong. That ain't right. My mama. You just gonna walk off and leave me? I didn't know you was getting that out of the car. Yep. There's all this smoke up here. I was trying to look to see if I saw a low before I got out, but I ain't gonna see. There's all this uh, smoke up here. I that, see uh, Brian. Who oh, Brian? Sitting over there on the Huh? Sitting over there. Where? That's that one with the black dick. What is one? Show us. Hey. Hi. Your car you said she'll be here in just a few minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi, Smith. So y'all all right in here? Good. What's your name? I'm Valerie. Okay, I'm Janine. Okay, Valerie people, hi. What's up, y'all? What's happening? Yes, sir. Do it up. Yes, we are. We sure are. Yeah. Check it out. Church TV Network. There you go. <laughs> On YouTube. On YouTube. Check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. Can't fuck. We're doing it. Yes. <laughs> I am leaving the family reunion right now. It is hot as all get out. Got my AC on. You got anything you're going? They growing? My gardening took off. What's that? Oh, you had a grapevine. You put it right there with all the crackheads and eat. So I stopped and got me some ice cream. And I got the infamous um, upside down upside down banana split. 
for those who don't know what an upside down banana split is it is ice cream walnuts glazed walnuts bananas cherries pineapples uh chocolate fudge and strawberry uh syrup and it's all upside down in a cup and it's like the best thing ever mm. oh man this little place right here called cream delight and it has been around since I guess before I was even born it was yes yeah, been around well since I was born I know it was I I know this place has been around since the 60s because I'm gonna show y'all something if you notice on the wall there I don't know if you can see it good but there are some old water fountains there and it used one used to say colored and one used to say white and that's how far back this this little ice cream shop goes back it was it was so far back it was segregated to see those water fountains there. and the sad part is is they never took them down completely they just painted over them and took the faucets out of them but for those that remember like my parents and other people that remember that's still a that is still a racist reminder and i'm not really sure why they even left those up there but i wanted y'all to see that this is this is the south this is this is alabama this is what you see and they try to cover this stuff up but it's the it's still there they want you to it's like they want you to remember this ice cream is everything and people make their banana splits different ways some people put peanuts on there. Uh-uh. If a true banana split does not have peanuts on it, no. It's either going to have pecans or it's going to have walnuts. Glazed walnuts. But I wanted a banana split. I think it was Dairy Queen. And I asked them for a banana split. And when they gave it to me, it was like in a little, uh, it wasn't in a cup. It was like in a little, um, like a little basket type thing. Like some people put a hot dog in. And it had peanuts on. I said, what is this? This ain't no banana split. So, that's the first time I ever seen anybody put peanuts on a banana split. I felt so disrespected. That was so disrespectful of my banana split that they put peanuts on it. Ugh. Who does that? Who would do that to a banana split? <laughs> I wouldn't wanna fall through Been a minute since I pulled up outside Shut it down, yeah, you do that every time stuff in there I saw um, a lot of pieces that I can definitely use um, ottomans chairs just some really great stuff this is my first time actually in home goods because I usually just go to old time pottery or Hobby Lobby I apologize guys I did not properly end out the vlog but if you like this video please give a thumbs up please comment and don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's just Janine. Bye.